In this video, we're going to cover how you can boot up your computer 10 times faster than it does now. If you are already a computer genius, you might already know all these things, but I will cover both how you can do it with changing some hardware in the PC, but also how we can make it boot up faster just by using the software that Windows come with. So first of all, let's look at the hardware. And this is a place where we can really go and improve the speed that our PC is starting up with. If you are so old that you can remember that 20 years ago when you clicked on a computer, you could actually go out in the kitchen and make a coffee. And then when you came back, it was maybe ready to actually be used. But since then, a lot of thing has happened. And back in the days, it was typically this hard drive that you saw in a computer, which actually contains a mechanical reader so actually a pin that's just moving back and forth to read what is on the disk so the next thing that happened after this hard disk was the ssd hard drive and actually if you just change the old hard drive with an ssd your computer would go from like you know two minutes to 10 seconds in the startup so actually today, if you have a little bit older laptop that has the old hard drive version in it, then go and change it to an SSD if you have the opportunity to do so. But the newest hard drive you can actually go and buy is the NVMe SSD. But if you go from the older SSD to the newest SSD, you might not see that big of a change than when you came from the old hard drive to just the old SSD. And that's simply because when you already have a startup time that is maybe 10 seconds, it's really hard to just go and improve it even further because it also depends on the BIOS that you have in your computer, the operating system, and then of course, how many program is going to be opened when you actually open the PC, which is actually the second thing that we're going to look at. So if you already have an SSD inside your computer, then we can go and open the task manager. And if we just expand this task manager, this is actually Windows 11 in windows 10 and windows 8 it should look a little bit different with the menu here but you should be able to follow along so i'll just go and expand the menu and you can see we actually have this startup apps and it is from in here that we can go and see what program is going to be opened when we boot up the computer you can also see we have this startup impact so if we just go and sort that then you can actually go and see i have four programs that is enabled and they are really high so for example do i want epic games launcher to start up every time i open my computer and i'm actually more a console player so i don't play so many games on the pc so maybe every 100 time i open my pc i would actually go and open epic games as the first thing so what i will do is just go and right click it and then say disable you can also see because we are in windows 11 we can also just click it and then up here we can say disable and when I click the Epic Games Launcher, you can see we can enable it. You of course need to be careful when you're in here because some of the things you might not want to go and disable. So for example, if you see this RTKAUDU service, then really just go and Google it before you disable it so you know what it's doing. You can also go and ask ChatGPT. But again here you can see I also have Microsoft Teams and I'm not using that at all. And it's not even measured on the startup impact. So so just to make sure that that don't interfere with my startup, I can go and right click and say disable. So this is a good trick to go in and say that the application should not start up. As I said before, you will be careful with some of them. Also because some of them might actually be some update services that are going to be startup. So let's say you use a very specific program that actually need to be updated before you use it every time, then you might not want to go and disable it. The last thing I will show you is actually a very nice trick to make your PC startup extremely fast. And I actually think you should be able to do this if you have Windows 8 or 10 or 11. Because if we go down here and we want to say that we want to close the computer, then you also have these two options. You have sleep and you have hibernate. And they actually do two things. The first thing here is sleep. It does use a little bit of power, but everything will be open when you start up the computer again. So the recommended one I would use is the hibernate. And as you can see, it says that it turns off the computer, but the apps are still open and when the pc is turned on you're back to where you left off and the reason that it can actually do that because it doesn't sound very logic at first that you can have a program open when the computer is actually turned off the explanation will be a little bit more technical but just try to stick with me so 
So when you have some programs that is opened on your computer, we need to understand that the program, the actual exe file that is laying on the computer is on the hard disk. So when you try to open a program, you open it from the hard disk. But then when the computer actually run the application, everything will happen in the RAM of the computer. So let's say that this computer opens up and we all the enable thing that we have here is actually going to be read from the hard disk at first. And that's why everything is taking a little bit of time to open. But eventually when it runs inside the RAM, then you know they are actually running already. So it's just like having a program on your computer when you open it up if it's a big program then it will just take a little while to open but when they are actually open you can see that we have them down here and we're just able to open and close them very fast and that's because when a program is open it will already be in the RAM and the RAM is very fast and will remember what has already been open from the hard drive but actually when you close down a computer the RAM will be erased so that's actually where the logic come in when you close down a computer you cannot have any programs open because the RAM is not working anymore. It's actually just turned off and will erase everything that's inside it. That's also why we call it the short term memory, where the hard drive is the long term memory. So the way that Hibernate is working is actually just to take all the information that was inside the RAM and then it will just pack it and put it inside the hard drive so that when you open the computer again, the RAM can just go and fetch that file to see how your state was when you turned it off. So what programs was actually running already and what was the state of the program. So it actually knows everything just by generating that file. So I hope it was not too confusing. If you have some more tricks to how you can start up your computer even faster, then please write it in the description and else just have a nice day. Bye.